Public Relations Director for ISC West. We're here talking to manufacturers and service providers uh, about the new products and technologies, but uh, right here sitting next to me is sort of a different twist on the security business. Um, it is, uh, well, first of all, it's, it's an organization that the security industry has, I think, embraced for, for several years now. Um, but most importantly, it, um, it does some really great things for our world. And, I'm, and I have two gentlemen here that are going to talk to us about it. First is George Fletcher. Um, George is, uh, I guess we could say he, you, you, you run the Mission 500, which we'll talk a little bit about. And then Jeff um, Eichelob. Eichelob. Excellent. Got it? Okay. <laughs> with World Vision. Let's start off with you, George. Talk a little bit about, um, let's talk about the, the charity first. Let's talk about Mission 500 and what it does and, and why, and then we can get into why it's connected to security. Sure. Thank you. Well, thanks for having us here, first of all. Thank you. Um, we've, uh, Mission 500 has its origins in the industry. It actually existed previously in a company I had that did business extensively in Latin America. And we were, looking for fun, we were looking for ways to give back to communities there because you know, our company was benefiting from doing business in those areas. And of course, there, as you know, there's a lot of poverty in some of those countries. And a few years later, an industry colleague suggested that I consider taking this industry-wide rather than just within the confines of a company. And, and that's where we launched industry-wide about five years ago. And it's real simple. The, the whole purpose behind this, it's called Mission 500 because our objective is to sponsor 500 children, in this case through World Vision's child sponsorship program, which has existed for many years. And as I indicated, we've been doing this almost for five years in the security industry now, and using different ways to get on the map and on the radar of the industry, um, promoting the cause. But essentially the idea is to sponsor 500 children, partnering with World Vision. They have a well-developed, uh, established, and respected child sponsorship program and with a simple objective to, to provide these children that otherwise would not have the opportunity for just basic their basic needs, food, shelter, health care, education. And uh, these are the next generation. And so hopefully by lifting them up, we can help uh, the future even our own children. Because you know, to the extent that we can uh, secure the, ch the children in other parts of the world, it obviously will ultimately have an impact on our, our future and our children's future. Well, you need basic things to be able to learn and be educated. So once those are taken care of, then, then you've got a little sponge that you can teach anything to. Um, so, but so Mission 500 uh, is this charity, your connection to the security industry. Um, so when you first launched it, I know there was great support, but you've taken it a step further. You, you started what is now known as Security 5K, which is an annual run that, that's held here in, in Las Vegas at ISC West. Tell us, how did that happen? How, what was the genesis of that idea? Well, first of all, when you say, let's take something industry-wide, you're faced with a challenge, well, how do you take an unknown product around the industry and, and position it or, or create demand for it? And so what I did, and, and fortunately through the benefit of having served in the industry through trade associations, I'd served with ALICE, which is a Latin America Security Trade Association, and I served for a few years on the SIA board. And through that, made many connections, personal connections. And so when I thought of how we could position this, the first thing I thought of was, let me seek the counsel of some of the people I know and respect in the industry. And fortunately, these people, a number of these individuals, were willing to lend their time and support, and their names, for that matter, to the cause. And we formed an ad hoc advisory council of people from the industry um, to help launch this. So by virtue of that, when, when I arrived at the doorstep of many, many prospective sponsoring companies or supporters, and I'd mention, well, we have the certain, certain individuals that are known and, and respected in the industry that are actually supporting this cause, well, that immediately will get the door open at least and, and get people's attention. So that was kind of the, the, the beginning. And then, of course, the, the challenge was to, to try and get to as many people as possible and make them aware of that. And that started becoming possible by virtue of the industry media sending out press releases and then trying to get uh, to industry events and somehow appear, whether through a raffle or a cocktail event or something. And, and really where things started happening was uh, about four years ago, the ISC uh, got on board and, and was willing to support it. They started providing a tabletop at the entrance of the show here, here in Vegas and also at the New York event. And um, 
we're looking, we're always looking for ways where we could take this to another level. One thing is having a presence here with a booth or something, which is, is a valuable opportunity. But we're always looking for something, a bigger event, something that we could build to get more exposure in the industry. And, and just coincidentally, what happened is uh, the former editor of Security Systems News, Sam Feifel, uh, suggested to the Reed people, why don't, we do, why don't we organize a 5K race, something where people can get together and do something. And uh, Ed Nichols, who we had approached at ISC and were stressing, how can you support us more? How can we do something bigger? The stars aligned, and, and then all of a sudden the Security 5K was born out of that because all of these parts coming together, and, and we're happy to say this is our, we just hosted our second event. Which, uh, What's interesting, and, I, and I've, I've come to find, and I, you, you obviously have too, is that there are a fair amount of runners in the security business, and they come from all different, from manufacturers, end users, um, the whole distribution channel. Was, did, was that a surprise to you, or, or not at all? I guess it was, because I, I hadn't really run for 20-something years, and then all of a sudden this whole thing of the 5Ks and, and fundraising through running. And uh, so for me, it was opening my eyes to a new world, and not to mention conditioning my body <laughs> again to be able to run. And so, yeah, it is surprising. And, and what's surprising is, is it runs the gamut. I mean, the, as far as age groups, 30% of our runners are over 50. So, and, and, we, and our youngest runner was the daughter of one of our of the show attendees who was 13 and the oldest runner was 65 so so it transcends everything not only whether you're a manufacturer or a dealer or wherever you are in the value chain uh, transcends gender and age as well so that, that's the fun thing is you can involve everybody in that. and it's it's great to get out there in that you know and with obviously we have great weather in las vegas but to see everybody so engaged and excited to run little competition, I might add, <laughs> amongst the teams, but that only added to the fun, I think. I think so. And, and the exciting thing is y you feel that energy. You feel people's excitement and their, their sense of, um, of belonging to something, for lack of a better way of describing this. You, you can feel the people that are there, as, as we did in our last year in the first event, and this year, we really feel that, that there's a sense of people are excited to be part of something. Because it's something outside of the norm, what they're doing here, the business, and, uh, and it's an opportunity to, to give a little bit of their time and, and something back. So the 5K was on Thursday morning. Um, what, was the, what was the final tally? We had how many runners total? Well, we had registered approximately 460 runners and that actually ran um, around 370 people are actually ended up running yesterday. Yeah. So That's a wonderful. pretty good percentage. Yeah. Wonderful. And the thing is, part of this event, aside from congregating and getting everybody together to participate in it, and, and the running aspect, I mean, there's, there are different spin-off things. Uh, a number of the sponsors we've spoken to have used this as a team-building event. Their staff is here, they're running, there's a bit of a competitive feel to it, but they're excited to be part of something outside of the, the realms of the, of the show. And some people are talking about taking that to another level next year, of doing more than just you know, building a larger team-building initiative. Uh, out of the 5K race, so that, that's interesting. And the other byproduct of this is, is, as you know, part of these events, part of what you achieve as far as your fundraising, it comes from sponsor fees, the race registration fees, but the third element of that is the fundraising capability of the runners. If um, the runners that are running can reach out to family, friends, colleagues to support what they run, little donations of $20, $30 add up to a sizable uh, amount of money. And, What's really interesting and, and what caught uh, you know, Jeff's attention from World Vision is the high proportion of runners that registered to run but also were willing to set up fundraising pages, which was in the range of 40%, which is, is higher than that's normally the case, I, yeah, I, I, I think. So that was very interesting to see. We need to do a better job of rallying them to do the fundraising. And the thing is, some people are sometimes a little reticent to to reach out and ask for money and, and get people to, to, to give them money. So uh, we're going to work a little bit harder on that. But what's very exciting to see is 35 of the people that did fundraising raised over $12,000, which is an average of you know, over $300 a, a runner, which is wonderful. So, so your times, you're taking the race registration and, and by a multiplication of 10, increasing your fundraising capability. Yeah, and I think everybody would agree that it's a great reason to run and raise money, certainly.